Likely the most common um, issues that I deal with are patients that are suffering with glaucoma, macular degeneration, diabetics that are on their way to developing diabetic retinopathy, and cataracts, dry eyes. That encompasses a great deal of what I see. As far as um, what should you eat, gravitating toward leafy vegetables, green leafy vegetables, um, the orange vegetables, squashes, carrots, and sweet potatoes. All of these things are very healthy for the retina. And that's something that ages with time. And if we treat it right, we can reduce our risk for developing diseases like macular degeneration, which is becoming one of the leading causes of blindness in the world. As far as exercise, you know, everyone thinks that they have to have a gym membership. That's not necessary. Just take the stairs instead of the elevator. Just keep moving. Get off the sofa, turn off the TV, walk around the house, get a project to do, and it makes all the difference. Computer vision syndrome is something that we're seeing frequently now in the digital age. What we've learned is that when we're viewing for hours at a time any form of digital electronics, that tends to dampen the human blink. So if you're not blinking, you're not smearing your natural tear film across your eyes. If the eyes dry out, then they're uncomfortable, they become red, feels like a sandy, foreign body sensation, irritation. Also, there's a great deal of fatigue that comes with it. So what do you do? It's very simple. If you just look away from your computer screen every 20 minutes and blink them several times for 20 seconds, it does relieve a great deal of that. You can place a humidifier in your office, or if you have fluorescent lighting, you can turn that off and use some other form of ambient light. Of course, you can supplement with artificial tears and have them next to your computer. It does relieve a great deal of that irritation. Sunglasses are so protective, blocking UV rays. And UV rays are not our friend. UV rays damage the retina and can lead to progression of macular degeneration. Most people have some family history of eye disease. Often, they prefer to ignore that fact, and many of the diseases that we detect are inherited. A comprehensive eye exam is just as important as having a mammogram or a prostate exam for a man. There are so many diseases that can hide, and we can detect them by looking at the back of the eye. The back of the eye is a window to so many areas that we can't access. For instance, when we look through a dilated pupil, we can see the blood vessels of the retina. Well, where else can you visualize blood vessels? Um, I can't crack the chest and take a look at the heart blood vessels, but if I see that there are abnormalities in the eye vessels in the back of the eye, it's very likely that that's going on in the entire circulatory system, which is all connected.